we live in the mountains and uh, living in the mountains we encounter a lot of snakes <laughs> so the first thing you, you, you goes through your mind when you see a snake is this a poisonous snake or is it not and I want to show you how you can tell a poisonous snake is going to have a big head this is in the eastern United States he's also going to be bigger and fatter a non-poisonous snake has his neck is barely distinguishable from his body and you can see that in these illustrations in the eastern United States we mostly have pit vipers that are poisonous. Now there's one exception in the rule and that's a coral snake. They're a lot less common where I'm from in West Virginia but I, I suppose that they exist. But uh, generally you're going to look at the size of the head if the head is much bigger than the body. Now one of the myths that they have is that the head is uh, more diamond shaped on a poisonous snake or that they have patterns. That's not a good thing to go by because the other snakes have patterns. They all like to rattle their butt. Now if they have rattles on that into that tail. Of course, that's a rattlesnake. We all know that. That's a poisonous snake. But they all will rattle that tail around. Um, it's a common thing for snakes. You want to look at the body to the head. Now, a pit viper has a heat seeking gland in their face. And they also have their pupils are different, but you're probably not going to get close enough to see their pupils. <laughs> if you are, you're braver than I am. So, generally go by the size of that head to the body. And, and if that's the factor, then it's probably a poisonous snake. Now, I leave alone the non-poisonous snakes. I leave them alone. And I will tell you why. Because they eat the same food source the poisonous snakes do. So, if, if, you, if you're eating away at the food source of the poisonous snakes, there's going to be less poisonous snakes in your area. So, you want to control the food source. Also, you want to control their food source artificially. Uh, with the traps. You want to catch the rats, catch the mice, catch the things that they would eat uh, to, to stay in that area and hopefully they'll move on to somewhere else, maybe deeper in the mountains. A tomcat like this guy right here, he is an excellent source of keeping snakes away because he'll eat the mice and uh, sometimes go after the snakes. Now my dog hates snakes. He hates them. He hates them. And uh, he's out probably looking for one right now. He's been bitten several times, uh, but he hates the snakes, so that's great. I hope this video has been good for you and given you some good information about how to identify your poisonous snakes and uh, how to control your snake population. And uh, if you would, consider subscribing, liking the video, sharing the video. It really helps us YouTube creators keep, uh, keep creating and uh, try to help the community. Thank you. Out here trying to jump my car over, and get the jumper cables on, jumper pack, and then I look up. And there's this guy. Oh, yeah. What snake are you?